a very quick video on door liners. Um, as you've read in the project above, um, a door liner can be bought in a pack or indeed you can make it yourself. And this is one that we've made. Um, it's just four by one, four inch by one inch timber. That's a hundred millimeters by 25 millimeters. Uh, most of the time it comes, um, <clears throat> it's a four inch by one inch liner is for use with a stud wall that is three by two, um, three inches thick. Um, that's because the three inch timber with plasterboard on either side and three millimeters of skin is gonna equal your four inches. Um, if you're gonna use four inch timber for, or 100 mil timber for your stud wall, you're gonna need a five inch liner, okay? So this is a three inch wall Therefore, we've used a four inch liner. We've actually made this, we haven't bought a kit. Um, I'm talking to you now in June of 2014 and the liner kits are about 22 quid, something like that. Um, we've bought some four by one for about seven pounds. So you can see the difference. Um, and of course the door stop goes here. So to, to cut a liner, um, you first of all need to look at the door that you're gonna use and work out the size of the door. Add um, a quarter of an inch to that width and half an inch to the height, including um, any carpet or floor surface that you need to get over so that you can get um, an idea of the opening you need to create. The opening you need to create has to be bigger than the door that you're gonna put in it to give yourself some room for opening and closing. And the standard gap around the edge of a door is, in old money, an eighth of an inch. That's, um, th I don't know, three, three millimetres or something, three or four millimetres um, in metric. So add that to the size of your door all the way around, allow a little bit more for your flooring. Um, and then, of course, when you put the stud work in, you have to add also to the size of the opening that you've, uh, you wish to create, you have to add the thickness of the liner itself. So it's another 25 mil, both sides, 50 millimeters width, another 25 millimeters at the top. Then you can create your main opening in the stud work. Ensure that your stud work goes up vertically and horizontally. Make sure everything's level. It will make the, your lining much easier to install and certainly it will make sure, make your door much easier to hang if everything's perfectly upright. You can see that to make sure there's no twist in this lining, I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but you can see there's a screw here and there's one the other side of this door stop and that goes all the way down. We've screwed this about every 300 millimeters because we don't want anything to move. As the door is banged against the door stop, the liner can move, that means the plasterboard is gonna move, that means the screw heads are gonna pop out through the plaster. So everything is fixed really really solidly so it putting a liner in is a really simple operation it just requires a little bit of forethought and a little bit of planning and don't forget to allow um, a, a gap around your door some home improvers try and be too accurate about this um, even if you've allowed something like 10 or 12 millimeters above the width of your door you will be surprised at how little that looks when your door is hanging in place you need to give yourself some room to maneuver it's then a question of hanging the door onto the frame and the liner. Um, and then when your door's in position, it's usually a two person job if, if, you, if you're not used to it. Get somebody to hold the door in position, um, absolutely flush with the back of the frame. And then you can mark round the door with a pencil before you pit, fit your door stop. Don't be too, um, again, don't be too accurate with your door stop because if it's too tight, it can bind and it can stop the door opening and closing properly. So put it in first of all, you can see that that's still a little bit movable because not every door is absolutely 100% flat. So allow yourself, what we would normally do, we're, we're almost finished fixing this one now, what we would normally do, leave our panel pin sticking out a little bit so we can adjust that to the door um, when it's closed. So when the door stops on, we have formed a door frame or a door liner. Um, and it's a, it's a simple operation, something that you can do at home with your length of a, 
Um, a standard piece of timber from a timber merchant comes in 5.1 meter lengths. So you can buy a piece of 4 by 1 or 5 by 1 at 5.1 meters, which is the, the amount you will need for a single liner. Hope you've enjoyed the video.